Ooh, Gorilla again. We played this guy yesterday. Yeah, what's uh, what's everybody been up to lately? Everyone just jamming some Echabellum? Elite Fang Phoenix, sure. Diablo 4, ha, yes. I guess that's a thing. Stormcaller Crawler. So this is probably going to be Marksman from the opponents. Uh, these fangs are miserable. Do I just want some crawlers? Gold. A bit of Factorio, some Delta V. Is Delta V another Factorio sort of game? Getting the thesis sounds like a. That sounds fun. Sounds productive. There we go. Maybe a better word. No! My phoenixes! Stormcrawlers just destroy fangs. It is gross. I could get Mechanical Rage to try to fix that, but... Ugh. Can't get it this turn, unless I take out a loan. Lights for clear. We could go. Uh, Wasp just makes him want to go Mustang even more. I guess I could get a Storm Caller. Maybe that helps enough. Sci-fi game where you fly an ice mining ship through the rings, look for wealth, avoid pirates, eventually find the racing ground. Huh. Stormcaller is on a lead. Is there's really no difference between level one and level two Stormcallers at this point in the game, so I'm just like overpaying to get my splash unit. Maybe that's a reason to go sledges instead, but. Also the Rhino. Yeah, I think this game's over. I don't really know what I can do here. Mm -mm. I already went Mustangs, which kind of takes Wasps off the table. Mechrage level 5 Crawlers. I don't know, and just like Whirlwinds is Rhino.
Come on. Come on. No, don't aggro the tower. God damn it. Wait. No, it's still aggro the tower. Come on, come on, shoot the marksman. Okay, good. So we know where the rhino is. He can sell it though. Wait, that's mobile beacon. I mean, that's a change, he can still sell it. <sighs> Try to delay it. Could just like Phoenix over here. I do still need to be able to kill the crawlers fast. Like, this is... This is actually really bad. These just die to the Mustangs if I don't do this. Yeah. Well, at least they spent the money on the combat spell. The sledges do solve two problems at once. They deal with the Mustangs and delay the Rhino. Yeah. It's not too bad though. Or is that like a thousand damage? Combat spells every turn. If I take Orbital Bombardment, I have 500 after getting the Phoenix. I guess that could be my other Stormcaller. I definitely want this upgrade. If I get another sledge... He doesn't really have good crawler answers. Just like, if he goes... So with Overlord, I have the Phoenixes. Trying to distract everything with these. They also do just like run in and kind of do okay damage. Ah! Rage on our sledges. Get him in the battle a little bit faster.
Titans battleship. Ugh. Think we want any of that? We definitely need these upgrades. in with those. Missed the dual force conversation. Oh, there just hasn't really been a dual force conversation. Did I... Is there like a... <laughs> I don't know. I'll be interested in it when I get to play it, but... I don't really get anything out of reading the cards when I don't really know how the game plays. Rhino doing? Just trying to live, I think. Kind of a weird way to do it, but... Yeah, we actively don't want range on our sledges, because we want the sledges in front of the phoenixes, so that the armored sledges tank the mustang shots. It's a, it's a strategy game. Uh, what what exactly do you need to explain? Like the basic premise, or I just don't want to like oversimplify or undersimplify. I'm gonna get some later crawlers. Basic premise. Yeah. So if you've ever played any of like the StarCraft mods, like uh, Desert Storm. It's sort of similar in that you're making an army that is trying to beat what your opponent's army is. You can also think of it as like a competitive tower defense game, but like the towers move. Instead of sending waves over to your opponent, your towers are the wave. Yeah, I don't know if I like calling it an auto battler. Because, like, I think when a lot of people think auto-battlers, they think, like, heavy shot-based RNG. But this game doesn't really have any of that. The selections between realms are pretty low impact in comparison to how shops work in most auto-battlers. Like, there's not a whole lot of trying to build around the shops that you're offered in this game. It's more building around the opponent's strategy and trying to maneuver your way through. dead. Yeah, so like this game, we started off on the back foot a little bit. But, uh... I think this Sledge Phoenix pivot actually just turned the game around. I think we still lost that one fight because of the combat spell, but this Sledge checking the Rhino flank while also dealing with the Mustangs that are threatening our Phoenixes that clean everything else up was a really big deal to counter the fork. When you're behind, you really gotta you really have to find things that do two things at once. If you just spend the whole time trying to answer your opponent's previous threat, you're just gonna fall so far behind. Cause like you answer their threat from the last turn, but now they have another threat. But finding something like this uh the sledge play that does two things at once lets you regain the initiative. Is Rhino running around like a chicken with its head cut off? Yeah, I mean, the Rhino just got invalidated by the, the Phoenixes. It never got in. He tried to kill the Sledges with the missiles, but the numbers don't quite work. 
Gim's RNG is not as impactful as other auto battlers. Yeah, instead of a lot of the variants coming from RNG, it comes from like making reads and the hidden information of the opponent taking your turn at the same time as yours. Now he didn't get photon coding. Yeah, the big, I think the only RNG is like Stormcaller shots <laughs> and the start of game options. So like when you get offered the four specialists and starting units, that's a source of RNG. And I don't think there's any way to discern what the opponent's offered other than they're not offered the same specialists as you. But I don't think you can know what uh, like unit combinations they're offered. So you can't really pick your choice based on what the opponent might have.